What if Deku was born with Ultra Instinct, Part 5? So, to start off, where I left off was, um, Melissa, or Deku and Melissa's team getting first place with 1 million points in a cavalry battle. So, now we're on to the 1v1s. So Midnight has, now that that's over, let's start the 1v1s. As basically, everyone's like, yeah, 1v1s, let's do this. And the first match is, of course, Asuku and Shinso. And Shinso walks up to them and he says, it must be nice having a good cork and stuff. And Deku being the calm person that is says it's simple in that I don't have a cork and right as he's right as Deku says this Shinso says gotcha but before anything could happen Deku disappears and appears right behind him he's like well, what but I should have control of you and he's like I can see you I can see your communication waves of your cork. From my key sense, I can also sense corks. That's why I can answer you. You are completely defective against me. As he punches him right in the back, sending him flying. And he bas he tries to stop himself from going out, but is ending but ends up just going getting it completely pushed out of balance. <sighs> And, like, everyone's just like, damn, that kid is freaking savage. He just said, you're defective. <laughs> and, like, the only person cheering for him was, of course, Melissa, because she still thinks she actually ended up developing feelings for him because they were freaking trapped. Or they were stuck in a training device thing for 30 years. 30 years, even though that was only 30 days. It's like more than her life was spent in that, even though it wasn't. So, like, she's the only one cheering for him, and Mina basically goes up to her and says, Ooh, someone's got a crush, and then he's basically like, Shut up, Mina, that's not true. And, like, they're just, and Mina's just, like, bullying Melissa for that. And then... And then, basically, keep going, and then it's time for Deku and Deku and Todoroki. And Todoroki's like, I will beat you with my ice. I don't care that you beat All Might. That's just going to make it easier for me to, to become number one. And Deku basically just powers up his Ultra Instinct Omen, and he's like, oh, really? You think you can do that? And like, you think you could beat me with only half your power? Sure. And who? You just said it was your power. So you saying you're not gonna use his old man's power when, when it's yours? And he's just like, what? And his left side erupts with fire, and he's just like, thanks, Deku. As he sends flames at him, only for Izuku to appear right behind him and say, "Well, nice knowing you." And he just does one of those neck chops right at him, knocking knocking him out pretty much instantly. As he just falls down with like a thud. So next match is Melissa and Bakugo. Bakugo just merciless, mercilessly beat Ochako, which. Uchako is Melissa's friend, so that's so she's kind of pissed off, and you know what's gonna happen. She's gonna beat the Shabaki go. So Midnight says, "All right, start." And Melissa's just like, "You, you savage! You mercilessly beat Uchako. I can't forgive you for that, and that's why." 
I'm going to do the same to you. As like a menacing aura of like purple is showing around her. And Deku's just like, oh god, not this again. Because like one time he made her mad, or like flashback. They're in, they're in the hyperbolic time chamber. And Deku's saying, so how's it been for not seeing your father in 15 years? I bet he already... <laughs> I bet he doesn't love you anymore, and she just turned around with, like, menace and says, You want to bet? And he's like, Whoop. Not making her mad again. <laughs> no more limits. And, like, Bakugo's like, Ha! Right, you... Alright, flashback in. And then Bakugo's just like, Ha! You think you can beat me? <laughs> just a only be a little girl. Well, I can beat the shit out of you. And she's like, Oh, Yeah. As she basically smashes Bakugo's head in. And, and he's sent flying. And Deku's like, ah, oh, damn it. As he yells to Melissa, you overused your power again. As he flies up and catches Bakugo, who's sent out of the, the arena. And everyone's like, damn, this kid can fly. And then this girl just punches him out of the arena. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So Deku's just... So, it's now time for the finals, and instead of Bakugo and Todoroki, it's Midoriya and Melissa. And this, in, like, people, or all the um, UA staff was told that Deku taught Melissa, so what Midnight says is that it's a student versus teacher battle. Zuku Midoriya, who taught, who taught Melissa a shield, everything she, she knows about her, about her strength, taught her how to be strong, is now facing off against her sensei teacher. Let the battle begin, and both of them are just staring down at each other, and Melissa's like, I've had enough of this. As she charges in and, and tries to punch Deku, only for him to dodge and grab her fist and, and say, I thought I told you, no matter how much power you use, you will never beat me. As, like, you can see, if you guys know, um, Sound of, um, like, Speed of Sound Sonic from One Punch Man, like, his face of menace, like, with that smile... That's basically what Zuku's giving on. And she's like, Oh yeah, well today's gonna be the day that I finally beat you. And he's just like, Yeah, sure. As he starts sidestepping, like, um, One Punch Man, to create after images. As he throws a punch, only for the entire, like, si one side to be almost destroyed. As Cementos had to put up like a thousand layer wall to block it. And he's like, and Deku's just there, just standing there like, I thought you learned well, Melissa. As he punches her in the stomach, she goes flying and like catches a bar or catches herself and throws her back at her. And Deku jumps up in the air, does a flip and punches her again, and he, and like, basically she says, I'm not done yet, and she keeps punching, trying to punch him, only for him to dodge or block each one, and she ends up landing on her knees, and Deku is like, any last words, Melissa, and she's like, I will not lose, I need to prove myself to you, oh my, and my father, as she starts getting mad, thinking she's weak. And then, she's like, I cannot lose. And then, black lines appear out of her. Like, black, like, whips start to flow right out of her. And Deku's like, huh. Finally erupted that cork. I knew it was coming. As I've entered her dream world to find him. As Deku just keeps slapping the wrist, the things away, just like with, he just keeps flicking the wrists away, not even deciding to dodge, just as like an, even more of an insult. And she's just like, 
and she just keeps getting madder and madder, but the pain keeps getting worse and worse. And if you know Deku, um, the pain of it was so much bad, so bad, but, like, he could barely move. So it was like she's standing there, and Deku just sighs, and he says, Guess I have to beat her, as he puts two hands up to his forehead, and just instant transmissions right behind her, and just neck chops her. And everyone's like, well, I guess that kid wasn't as cocky as everyone thought. So now, everyone's getting crowned. Melissa's kind of sad that she got second, but she also knew she probably would never beat Deku, as he's stronger than All Might. He can beat the crap out of him. So, now, everyone's just going home, and they're all like... They're all happy, and now it's time for the internships, and everyone's thinking about what they should name themselves, and Deku is thinking, and then he comes up with an idea. His idea was to call himself, um, he, we told him about of the strongest fighter in all of the multiverse before he died, and his name was Goku. He had Ultra Instinct just like Deku, but a weaker. F but Deku had hasn't unlocked his full potential of it, while Goku, who had years of training, easily unlocked his full potential, mastering it. Zuku may have mastered Ultra Instinct in this, but really, he's only have. Like, 1% of Master Ultra Instinct. So he can't really do anything. So Deku ends up naming himself the Ultra Instinct Hero Goku. And, like, the teacher accepts it. Yeah. So now it's time for the Steen arc or whatever. Deku... Uh... Like, they know how strong Deku is and how he wasn't going to learn anything. So basically, they just said, Alright, we're going to give you two hero licenses. Well, we're going to give you Amosa two hero licenses, and you're going to have to be belonging here, and as you are her superior, basically. You're like a pro hero here, so you're going to have to do that. So basically, they go out. Deku is now a partial hero, meaning he can still earn rank, but he'd lose that after the week is up. But Melissa's basically still a student under intermission with him. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I can't really think of anything else um, for this as I don't have as much time to put stain in it. See so yeah, you guys. Bye.